Hi and welcome to my channel. I saw today I will do a little uh, budget with me, reflection on the October months and do my makeup with you. So I have been tracking my expenses in the Notion. I don't really use it for anything else. I will show you later how I track them and what I write down. Um, I have been doing it since I think beginning of the year and it definitely helped to yeah, see where my money is going, uh, to budget a bit more. Um, I did spend quite a lot in this year because um, of the war in my country. My parents had to come here and um, yeah, I had to support them a bit more so I spent a lot on that and also I did quite some uh, health things. Uh, so last month I did my eyes, um, like the laser surgery, so that was quite expensive. Um, and yeah, the worst like uh, my mom's birthday, my birthday, uh, a trip, so I spent quite a lot. Um, yeah, so at first I used the Artless Glow Base from Hamish, it's like SPF with a bit of glow, which is really nice. Uh, and now I will go with the ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I do prefer Charlotte Tilbury one, it's more kind of moisturizing, um, but the Charlotte Tilbury one I have is a bit too dark for me so I need to repurchase a lighter shade I hope you can see good because um, I've been tri trying to figure out my whole setup um, and yeah, I, two more lights are coming in so that's another expense I had but I hope it's gonna be nicer for the videos. And uh, now I will go with ELF Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm using shade Light Ivory. I don't love this one. It's a bit too much for me, but I mean, it's okay. I'm, I just dot it a bit on my redness areas and then blend it together with the Halo Glow. I already wrote down what I spent um, and I thought I will show you how I input it in the Notion and I usually do it every week mm -hmm. but this month, well in October, I have been really not great at it. Um, I had a work trip so that kind of stopped me from doing it because I was really busy and then on this work trip I got COVID first time in three years, so that was fun. Um, I've been kind of out of it for a week, so again, I didn't do it, but I did yesterday. So today is Thursday, Thursday the third. Yesterday I did counting how much I spent in each category. I don't have like distinct categories for the budget tracking. Well, I do have home, um, groceries, bills, um, takeout, beauty, skincare uh, category, which I spend a lot on. And I'm planning to do in November kind of like a no buy for at least skincare and makeup because I get a lot in PR and also I buy a lot to review on my Instagram. So I definitely don't need more. Yeah, so this base is looking nice. It's really glowy and really natural looking. Um, now I will go with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. I hope I will finish it this year. Mm, probably not this year, but this is the only and the first powder that I really loved uh, because I do have quite dry skin. Not all powders work nicely for me but this one is perfect. I don't do a lot, I just use a slight amount to just brush over, mostly under my eyes, because it does crease a bit. Um, yeah, but it's looking really nice so far. 
Um, then I will go with my Vestman Atelier. This is like a clean beauty luxury brand. It is really expensive, um, but it does worth it, in my opinion. Uh, you don't need a lot, and it gives like the most natural finish. Uh, this one is Contour in the shade Biscuit. Yeah, so I just go lightly. Um, sometimes I use my fingers to blend it, sometimes I use a brush. Depends on my mood. Today I will just use the same brush, it's a Shantakai um, blending buffing brush, I think. Um, yeah, so expenses. Um, yeah, everything's been really expensive at the moment, starting from electricity and gas, I guess, like everywhere else, to groceries, again, like everywhere else. Mm -hmm. So we did spend quite a lot. Um, I do have a saving account where I try to put away every month some money. And I do have investing um, account. Um, yeah, and I try to invest in some stocks um, every once in a while. Um, I definitely need to put away this month some there. Um, then I will go in with my Refi Beauty Brow brow Gel, Brow Sculpt it's called. It's really nice, I know a lot of people don't love it, as it leaves a lot of residue for them. For me it worked perfectly, I do a bit scrape it a bit, because it's quite a lot of product. And then I go in with it, just brush upwards. Uh, leave it for a second and then brush with another little but it gives the most like feathery brow effect uh, at the end of the day it does leave a bit of like residue if you like touch your brows but other than that it works perfectly for me like it's really nice and feathery um, then I will go in with, so two more steps, uh, with Cosa's um, Color and Light Little Duo. I will use this one as a blush. It's like really bronzy, natural looking blush. I love this kind of blushes for autumn. And this one, I it's really like sticky and I don't know, it's really thick. But when it blends out, it looks really nice. I don't do usually too much. Uh, just a little touch of some color. Is I'm really pale. And then I will go with the highlight portion. This one is more creamy and not as thick. It is a bit sticky on the skin, but it does look really nice. It looks really natural and just gives you that glowy complexion. Okay, so that's all done. Um, sometimes I like to go with the same one uh, over my eyes. Just give, again, a little color. I don't really use eyeshadow anymore, so I will probably need to declutter my palettes. But yeah, just a bit of color. And the last one, I will use my um, eyelash color. I don't really use mascara too much, but when I do, I use this one, Eye of Horus one. Um, it's Goddess Mascara in Brown. They sent it to me, and I've been really loving it. Um, again, I don't go in too much, just slight, with like really light hand to add a tiny bit of color. So that's your like five minute makeup look. I think it's been a bit more than five minutes, but um, then I will go with the MAC Fix Plus Magic Radiance Hydrating Spray with Vitamin C. And let it dry a bit. Move to the budgeting and um, checking my expenses for October together I will show you my screen yeah so
Let's go. Let's get going. So I use Notion for the budget tracking. I do have two budget trackers. One is my personal one and one is joint budget tracker. Again, I didn't do anything here, uh, but I will go with you through the my personal one today. Yeah, so I have a few expenses here uh, home. Um, well, this is what we transfer to our joint account. We usually do it once, once a month. Uh, I have transportation. Um, I haven't been spending much on it, thankfully. Uh, the transportation here is really expensive, but uh, my boyfriend have been driving me uh, places. So yeah, thankfully I haven't been spending on that. Groceries, I have been spending a lot. As I said, it's really expensive here at the moment and we haven't really bu uh, been budgeting for it. So yeah, we've been spending a lot. So we weren't really thinking like what we spend on, we just spend on it. Take out, um, We've been really good. We haven't been doing takeout or eating out because we aren't a social, so we haven't been going out and haven't been really ordering in. We just were yeah, buying snacks mostly. Health medical, um, this is anything from pills to um, anything like health related. Like as you see on the first week, I spent 3,300 euros. Uh, it was for my uh, laser eye surgery. Um, I didn't have too bad of an eyesight. It was, I think, minus two and a half on each eye. Uh, so, yeah, but I've been really wanting to do it because it's been really annoying to wear glasses all the time. Uh, treating myself is kind of literally anything. Like, for example, like buying something that is not beauty or clothes related or anything I've been really wanting. Yeah, but um, I think I will remove this one. I will just do a different category for that. Uh, beauty, yeah, as I said, I've been spending quite a lot. Actually, I don't know what this 1,300 is for. I have no idea what I was doing. What is this for? Okay, let me double check that and come back to you. Um, clothes, I've been really good at not buying. I've been trying to minimize my closet um, and just wear what I have. And if I do buy, I just buy like really timeless pieces. Uh, this I bought a uh, COS blazer and I think, yeah, trench coat. Um, so it hasn't been too much and COS is like, has really amazing quality of pieces and they last lifetime babies <laughs> this is my bunnies I have three bunnies um, so yeah this is like anything related to them snacks bad appointments um, yeah this month uh, we've been mostly spending from the joint account one of our bunnies got sick so we've been spending on that uh, but also I've been sending some uh, for his pet appointment Subscription banks is anything like Spotify, um, Netflix, anything like bank card payments. Other is literally anything and everything that doesn't fit in this category. For example, if I buy anything of Amazon for home or yeah, literally anything like helping my parents because uh, they do have a um, phone card in this country, uh, they're on my name, so I've been paying for that and I've been helping them a bit with money. Uh, investment, um, yeah, as I said, I've been investing in some stocks. Um, I haven't been doing it in October, uh, so I do need to do it this month. Uh, holiday budget, I just have like kind of separate savings account for our holiday as we are going in March to Bali hopefully or like Philippines and it's my boyfriend's birthday so um, I wanted to get a ticket uh, to go there for him. Yeah so let's get going for week two. It's been pretty good week so uh, joint account I haven't sent anything um, transportation zero uh, for groceries I spent 43 11 euros 
um, take out we didn't do anything so here all are zero as have been really good apparently uh, so and I haven't spent anything um, subscriptions it was 9.99 for the Spotify um, other it was quite a lot 234 98 I sent my dad some money because he uh, is moving to another country for a while for the winter and it's to help him to pay for like deposit for the apartment investment nothing and holiday I didn't send anything for week three I did send 867 to the joint account it's just this number because I like to be left with like a clear number uh, then again zero 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 for everything mm, clothes I did buy an onzi to like onzi to like wear at home um, but I didn't put it for in my other for some reason so yeah this I did spend some but yeah oh uh, 50 I sent for the bad appointment that he had like a follow-up um, bank is zero and other this is like onzi helping that I don't know something and sending some money to my mom um, nothing and I spent I transferred 200 to the holiday budget and week four uh, I spent sent 200 more to our home account because we had some expenses uh, like additional ones so we needed some more nothing oh yeah for week three i didn't spend anything on like groceries or yeah anything because i was on this work trip uh, for four days and they covered everything uh, hotel groceries yeah everything so i didn't spend anything on that um yeah, this month has been really good with transportation because I've been sick, so I didn't go to the office. Um, groceries, 68, which is quite a lot, I feel like. And this is not all groceries, so we also have in the joint budget tracker, which we spend the most. Uh, zero, zero, zero. Uh, beauty I spent 132.94 I bought a few things um, that I've been wanting to try so maybe I will review them here zero um, for babies 396 this is just greens sometimes I put them in the groceries sometimes I put them separately when I remember and 1088 this is just some bank payments and some other payments I'm not sure um, and here 162.62 I think again I paid for my dad's uh, phone payment phone bill I donated some to the animal shelter in Ukraine um, and yeah some random stuff I think I ordered on Amazon and zero and zero oh zero and zero so yeah this month's been quite a lot it was seven thousand seven thousand three fifty nine seventy six oh no Um, so here I do write down what was my income it's usually pretty stable unless I have like holiday pay or like certain months pay or some bonus which doesn't happen a lot at all uh, yeah put income expenses and amount um, yeah amount that's like minus or plus and yeah put how much I had in savings so in August I had 16,000 now it's down to 10,000 because I spent quite some and um, if I have some like big expenses or anything I write down here to kind of remember what I did like for example in October I did laser eye surgery in September mom had her birthday so I bought her coat laptop necklace 
um, I gave my boyfriend like a present uh, I just gave him 600 for the phone then we did home improvements we bought a new CV uh, and I bought a new carpet um, August been pretty good um, July I had holiday I bought myself like a laptop um, we went for holiday so I paid for massage um, June again like trip and I bought myself some diamonds uh, and I did filler and Botox um, yeah so and all this since March my parents were here so I've been helping them with that so yeah I've been trying to be more mindful of my spending but as you see it's not really <laughs> working out much yeah this um, this year has been quite a lot on spending spendings uh, so I hope next month um, and next year are gonna be better and also I'm trying to do some side hustle with Instagram uh, which hasn't been really successful up to this point but hopefully I have some um, paid ads next month um, so that's gonna bring some money in and I'm still waiting for um, money to come from one of my ads that I did with the brand um, yeah, so this is how I track my money. Uh, it's pretty simple. Yeah, I just open my bank account and I see where I spend anything. Like, I do it every week because I forget um, where I spend it if I don't do it every week. But yeah, and joint, I will do it separately. But yeah, same here. I do like archive of the previous months. Uh, like, for example, September, how much we spent and uh, same like income expenses and how much left um, yeah uh, move on to my goals um, I thought I would set some for the like till the end of the year I didn't do it in the beginning or I don't do it too often but I think it's good to have like a visual of what you want to achieve so I thought I would do um, yeah, goal set until the end of the year so we have like two months left and I think it's a pretty good amount of time to achieve these so my first goal is to hit eight and a half K on Instagram I'm currently at 8100 and I have been same since well last year um, Instagram haven't been really nice to <laughs> its creators um, so I'm not sure I can hit it but I really will try um, yeah so if you want to follow me on Instagram feel free to help me with that goal um, another goal uh, is also social media one is to hit 150 um, followers on YouTube I just started so and now I have like at this moment that I'm filming like 14 uh, so it's quite a big goal, but I hope I will achieve it. Um, it would be really nice to go into the new year with 150 of you. So the other one is the finance goal is to have one and a half K saved for holiday. I currently have, I think, a thousand and I will get my like holiday certain months pay. So I'm sure it's achievable. Um, yeah. The other one is visit my best friend in Serbia. I was gonna go to her, well actually next week, uh, but I got sick and the tickets got too expensive because I was waiting for too long. Uh, but I definitely want to visit her because she's moving to Canada and she gave birth to a baby. So I really wanna meet him well, and see her. Um, then start to decorate in the spare bedroom. Uh, we currently have like a bed in the spare bedroom um, and just, bunch of random stuff but we want to buy like a sofa bed so there's more space and to do like a little photo studio for me and also have um, kind of a workout space there uh, as well uh, so hopefully we will start on that and buy like a sofa bed at least and then we will start already like moving around furniture and painting the walls maybe I'm not sure yet um, then the next one is read one book <laughs> doesn't sound like a lot but I have been really bad at reading um, I used to read all the time and read so much but I don't know I just 
don't anymore and I really want. and the last one is work out three four times a week again I have been really good in the beginning of the year I guess like everyone else and then I just fell out and we do have a gym membership which is finishing yeah and like we were paying for the gym membership and been going like once a month probably but we do have like a cross trainer at home and like few things so I hope I will be better at working out so yeah these are some of my goals um yeah maybe i will achieve them i guess we will have another uh like um checking calls with me how they're going um in january to see what i actually achieved and not um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will come back to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye!